Hello YouTube friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Deidre from Our Upcycled Life. Today we're working on a dump find. I found this little table in the wood pile at the landfill. It's in kind of rough shape, but I know I can save it. It's just one of those cheap little tables and it all comes apart. And I'm gonna do some of my one step paint and some gift wrap paper decoupage on it. Kind of gonna do a funky spin on it. So I'm excited to show you guys what I have in mind. So we got lots of work, let's get started. This table has definitely seen better days. A lot of the finish has come off and it's loose. It needs to be tightened up once it's finished, but I know I can make it into something a lot better. This is a type of side table that all the legs and the spindles unscrew. So it actually makes it easier for painting. I can take it all apart and then lay it all out and paint it properly. When you see these tables out and about, don't overlook them. They're really easy to make pretty again. I took my 220 sanding block and I sanded it all down to get it all nice and smooth. And then I had some holes all around the outside of it. I think it had a ledge on it at one point. Filled it up with some wood filler, let it dry, and then I sanded that down and then took a baby wipe and wiped everything down clean so we have a nice surface to start on. This is the gift wrap paper that I'm going to use. I picked it up at the dollar store and I had this paint in my stash. I'm gonna turn it into one step paint, but look how it matches that gift wrap. It's gonna to come together perfectly. I've mixed up my one step paint. If you missed that video, I'll put the link down in the description where you can watch that and get the recipe from there. It basically eliminates any prep to your surface or any top coat. It's all in one, it works fantastic, and wow, is it ever durable. If you want to paint a piece of furniture or cabinet doors, this is a recipe to use because it is really hard to distress afterwards. It's so hard. So if you're just gonna do a solid color, this works perfect. Now I'm going to get painting these spindles. I have a little trick for painting spindles and it really speeds up the process. Also have a full tutorial there. I'll put that link down below in the description if you wanna see um, some really fun spindles that I painted in some fabulous colors. You can check that out after. Basically, you're just putting on a rubber glove and then one of those spare socks that you've had laying around for forever, bring them out into your um, crafting area and use them to paint spindles. Dip your hand in the paint with the sock and just rub it on the spindles. These are probably gonna take a couple coats. I'm gonna let them dry completely in between before I add the next coat. And they're coming along perfect. I think they're still gonna need one more coat. And I've got two coats on these two shelves. They look great, but they're gonna need one more coat also. I've got two full coats on these spindles. It's covered really well, but I think I wanna do one more coat and I'm gonna sponge it on. I just have a little piece of sponge and I'm just dipping it in the paint and I'm just gonna dab it up and down along that whole spindle and it's gonna give it a nice smooth finish. And I'm also gonna use that same process on those two shelves. This has got two coats on it already. I'd let it completely dry. And now I'm gonna put my third coat on with a sponge. It's going to get rid of any brush lines or any imperfections that you've had when you were painting it if you just dab that sponge up and down. My spindles are drying. I love this red. It is so fun and so whimsical. And it's always nice every once in a while to kind of venture out of that white and black and do something with a splash of color. Now we're gonna get the gift wrap and we're gonna cut a piece of it off the roll a little bit bigger than the top. We're going to Mod Podge it on with my matte finish and you're just gonna brush it on. You don't want it too thick if you have it thick it's going to wrinkle up too much and bubble too much you just want a thin coat just enough to stick that wrapping paper onto the surface one thing with decoupaging that you should always kind of keep in the back of your mind is you're never going to have a project that's a hundred percent 
no wrinkles or no bubbles. It's virtually impossible. And I usually, when I'm doing projects like this, I embrace the wrinkles. I love it when they show up every once in a while because you can make it look distressed and old and it doesn't look like it's just a hunk of paper stuck on the top of your surface. Now I have added two coats of Mod Podge on top of that piece of wood. Let both of those coats dry completely. Now I'm gonna take that gift wrap and place it exactly where I want on that piece of wood. The flowers, I kinda wanna make sure they're centered up and are gonna look nice when it's finished. And I'm putting a piece of parchment paper on top. Make sure it's parchment paper, not wax paper. Then we're gonna iron it on. I have my iron set on the highest setting with no steam and you're just gonna take your time and just slowly just iron on that gift wrap and as you're doing that Mod Podge underneath will melt and adhere the paper to your project. I really love using the iron on method to decoupage. It works really well when you're using it on a bigger project too. And the nice thing about using gift wrap paper is it comes in a bigger roll so you can decoupage a bigger project, you're not limited to just using a piece of paper. That ironed on really well. Now I'm going to take my sanding block. This is a uh, 80 grit sanding block and I'm just going to take it around the edges and just sand it and as you do that you're going to leave a really nice clean edge around your piece of wood. Now I'm going to take that sanding block across the top of that gift wrap paper I just want to age it, kind of distress it, so it doesn't look perfect. And as you can see, it did kind of wrinkle up quite a bit. I don't know if it was a different type of gift wrap paper, but I actually really like it. And as I'm sanding it, I'm liking it even more. It gives it a really distressed look. By sanding it, it knocks off that top edge of the wrinkles and leaves this beautiful distressed finish. I'm embracing the wrinkles on this one because I love the way that it turned out. I'm going to seal this up with engine enamel. This table will probably be used for a plant stand or a little end table and I want it to be sealed really well and really be durable. This engine enamel is perfect for that. We are ready to put this dump fine table back together. And I'm going to put a couple coats of paint on the bottoms of those shelves. Someone else's trash is my treasure. I knew with a little bit of TLC and a little bit of patience, I could turn this into something beautiful again. And I love the bright color and the whimsical feel of it. I hope you enjoyed today's upcycle. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.